What's up everyone, it's your boy Norman Rad 89 here bringing you another rad movie review today to talk about Seed of Chucky from 2004 and yes, it's just, it's not a secret. This is easily my least favorite in the Chucky franchise, Seed of Chucky. We're going to discuss some of the positives, what positives I do have, there's just very few, and then the glaring mountain of negatives that I have with this film as we get into this one. Yes, yeah, Seed of Chucky is just not the entry that I enjoy that much at all but these are just my thoughts please let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this one so let's get into this video roll it the see the chucky continues with the storyline as this time we are following along with glenn as this takes place six years after the previous film bride of chucky and like I said, we mainly we start off our thing with Glenn and he's having a nightmare about killing his parents, you know, Chucky and Tiffany. And then he wakes up and everything. And then all of a sudden he's uh, like a slave basically to a puppeteer, an evil puppeteer named Sykes and stuff. And it's just, it's really this film, see the Chucky, let's get into just the negatives right away. Before we get into the positives, let's just get these negatives out right away is that this one Despite it being so meta, despite it being it just a total like basically Jennifer Tilly trying to carry this film, it doesn't work. I love her in this franchise, but I just don't like this movie, and it's mainly to do with the execution. I understand that there is a kind of a deep storyline at the center of it with Glenn, you know, searching for his parents, wanting to discover his origins, you know, where he came from. That's a very common theme to have for a main character and an easy one for a lot of audience members to grab onto. But yeah, see the Chucky for me in terms of the comedy, in terms of the acting, the tone, the pace, this one is just way off for me in all of those areas. Add to that, we have Don Mancini again playing with the rules of the book in the movies and just changing it up again as Glenn is able to, you know, get access to Dembala, the ancient, you know, amulet, and is able to bring back Chucky and Tiffany because the bodies of the dolls that are rebuilt for the movie that Jennifer Tilly is going to be in, which is like Chucky Goes Wild or Goes Psycho or something like that. And she's going to be in it. They built the dolls from former parts of Chucky and Tiffany. So yeah, it's just, it's weird. It's like I said, don't pay attention to the rules or take them down or jot them down. Because like Don Mancini plays with them at every turn, at every chance he gets. My next glaring negative with this film is despite how much I love Redman. And I think he's really cool. I enjoy how high I even listen to Redman's music. I think it's interesting. It's fun. It's really cool. But I just don't find him that great in this movie. Even the storyline with Jennifer Tilly as our side plot. She's trying to be cast as the Virgin Mary in Red Man's movie. Like just all of it. It's very like campy, silly, cheesy, funny. It's very comedy heavy. But for me, none of it lands. And that's one thing I've noticed with horror comedies. Me being a huge fan of horror comedies is that you have to learn how to balance the tones. If you're going to be a horror comedy... You have to learn how to balance your gore, your scary moments, and also your comedy moments. And this film is just comedy, high octane comedy all across the board. And there's kills in this movie, but none of the kills are like said that interesting to me or have any weight or levity to them because of the way this film is executed. And then of course we have to hatch the plan of Chucky and Tiffany making the great idea that they are going to steal Redman and Jennifer Tilly's body and everything and Glenn is going to help them and it's kind of them like Chucky and Tiffany trying to pull Glenn to which side to be to be a good person you know Tiffany kind of swears off killing in this film and wants to be a good representative or representation for her son Chucky's like no let's teach him the ways like you know what I mean let's teach him all our dirty evil ways and stuff so there's all these tussles with parenting and everything and it's just drama silly melodrama crap that I just don't find funny or interesting to be in a Chucky film so for me see of Chucky being a follow-up to Bride of Chucky this is Highly, highly a disappointment for me because that one is, like I said, Bride of Chucky is easily the most fun out of the entire franchise. And this one for me is just like a complete, just nothing, bag of nothingness because I don't get any emotions out of this film. It's just like watching all these campy, silly, you know, acting scenes that are horribly acted 
And like I said, I get absolutely nothing out of these moments. Now this is a still a monumental film. Let's talk about positives. Is one big positive is that this is a film that you really can't skip. Be it how much I hate this film, how much I dislike this film, in terms of continuity, in terms of the franchise, if you're really trying to stick it all the way through and you want to go all the way to the Chucky TV show, you have to commit and you have to watch Seed of Chucky. This has a monumental moment in this one when Tiffany's able to transfer her soul into Jennifer Tilly and Jennifer Tilly gives birth to twins. We have Glenn and Glenda, their introduction into this film. So it's like there's a lot of big moments in this movie. And like I said, this isn't one that you can't skip because it has, like I said, a lot to do with the future projects that you have later down the line in the TV shows and the movies as well. But yeah, for me, in terms of my entertainment value, in terms of my enjoyment, the gore, all that kind of stuff, the Chucky one-liners, like there's really not even any memorable Chucky or Tiffany one-liners in here either. Like it's just very like meh, and you know what I mean, this film. And like I even feel like the budget is lower in this movie and you can physically see it, you know what I mean? Be it the way the dolls look, the way the puppetry and the ventriloquism looks and everything. It's just, it's not that great looking at all. So for me, Seed of Chucky has never been one that I grabbed onto. I know this one has a huge fan base. There is a growing fan base for Seed of Chucky. It's slowly becoming a cult classic over the years, even though when this film first came out, everybody basically thought this was hot dog shit, which is like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you're not getting any arguments from me. Do you hear any arguments? So it's like, you know, uh, but it's slowly getting a fan base over the years, which like I said, every film has its fan base. They're, they're out there, but like, I'm happy, but then also kind of not happy because I still think it's like hot dog shit. But you know, Cedar Chucky is like not one for me, but like I said, these are just my thoughts, my opinions on this film. I would love to hear from all of you down below. Are you one of the people, are you in that group? of people who are championing championing Seed of Chucky and how awesome it is and how campy, how silly it is. A lot of people that have liked this film have told me this is like Jennifer Tilly, like full on, this is her movie because she gets to take over it and just do what she wants. And like I said, I just don't think she has the ability to command the role and lead the movie, you know what I mean? I just don't think she has that ability. But for me, in my book, a rating for Sita Chucky, this film's going to get two. This film's going to get a two out of ten. Yeah, I just, I'm telling you, I do not like this movie. I've returned to it multiple times. I've seen this film probably, I think, about six, seven, six or seven times now. And every time I watch this film, I am left with the same feeling of regret of why did I just waste this hour and 25 minutes on this movie. But thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted Seed of Chucky. Please drop a like on the video. That greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.